Hey, good morning, YouTube friends and family. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing blessed and well out there today. And welcome back to my video and welcome back to another video with Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen, okay? And today we're going to cook something nice, easy, simple, and very delicious, okay? So, without further ado, before we get started with what I'm going to cook, I want to say a prayer this morning and come on. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come cook with me. Come pray with me this morning. Come on, come on. Come on. And the prayer goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no for thou art me, thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name I pray to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now, I'm sorry for that interruption. If you guys hear that buzzing, buzzing, but people are calling in on my phone right now and I can't answer right now because I'm doing this video and I want to get through this video right now. And I'm sure not going to stop in the middle of my prayer. That's just not going to happen. So, okay. Now, they calling in and calling in because today's a special day for me. Okay. But without further ado, I want to tell you what I'm cooking today. And what I got on the list today is some enchiladas. Remember the other day I fixed the homemade chili, right? And I told you I was coming back on Friday to do some enchiladas out of that chili, didn't I? And I'm here to do it. God willing. Thank you, Jesus, because I'm here and I'm about to make this these enchiladas for you today, okay? And let me show you the ingredients that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put you down and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. And then we're going to get started, okay? All right. And remember, today is the day that the Lord has made for us. We will rejoice and be glad in it, okay? It's going to be a great day today, okay? And okay, so let me show you uh, the ingredients we have here. And we are going to use some tortillas today with our enchiladas. We are going to use some cheese. I have two types of cheese here. And we are going to use some cilantro, fresh cilantro. I'm going to use some enchilada sauce, the mild. And, um, of course, the star of the show. The chili, this delicious chili, okay? So, yeah, we're going to get in that. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this enchilada with that chili. And yeah, so without further ado, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to show you how I soften my tortillas, okay? I'm going to soften my tortillas, and then we're going to get to putting the, uh, the chili and the cheese and wrapping it and then in the oven to go. It's not good. It's not that, it's not that difficult once you already have your filling, like your meat, whatever you're going to put. You can use chicken, chick grilled chicken or... A rotisserie chicken, if you want chicken enchiladas, like whatever you want. I usually use mine with the chili because, like, every time I make chili, after that, after I eat it, like, chili-like, I want to make enchiladas out of it. So I think that's a great thing to do with the chili, the leftover chili. So that's what I do, and that's what I'm going to do today. So let's go. I'm going to put you down so I can show you how I soften the tortillas. And then we're going to start getting it going. Okay, so come on. All right. Right about. Hold on. Let me see here. Okay. That is perfect. Right about there is where I want you. Okay. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my tortillas and just put them on here like so. A few of them. So that's six of them. And then I'm going to take my Pam here, okay? 
And I'm just going to spray them. I'm going to preheat my oven to about 250, 300. And I'm going to spray my tortillas. You, I have um, this Pam olive oil spray. You can use butter flavor or whatever flavor or whatever Pam you want to use. Or, yeah. But I, I want to use the olive. I like the butter flavor too. But, yeah, just lightly spray them. And I'm going to put some in this pan too. I have another pan over here. Put some of these in. And do the same with these. This one is broken, so I'm not going to use it. I want all the ones to be good. That's not good either. So these are done in the garbage they go. I have another pack here. These are the smaller ones, but they're just as good. And I'm cooking right now for a few people because I told you, like I said, it's a special day today. So I'm going to add these to there like that. And then I'm going to spray them both, si both sides. And this is just to soften them up so that you can roll them when you get ready to uh, add your filling without them breaking all up and everything like that. So now that I have these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11 of them, okay? So I'm going to start with these. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these right here. The tortillas that I spray, I'm going to put them in the oven, okay? And then I'm going to come back and we're going to start the process and I'm going to show you how I do them, okay? Don't go far. Okay, you guys, so we're back. We have the tortillas all softened and now we're ready to roll. I actually started rolling one already, so I'm on my second one. So I'm going to put you down here so you can see exactly how I put the food inside the tortilla and wrap it up and get it ready to be an enchilada. So come on. There you go. Let me get you situated where I want you to be. Right there. I think that's good. And I can also maybe bring you down a tad bit so that you can be closer. Yeah, that's that's good. Right there. How about that? You guys can see better. Okay, so now we're going to get to rolling. I have in here, I have put some chili, some cheese, and some cilantro. And I don't know, I just think cilantro is so good. And I have little ones and big ones. I have the little ones and the big ones, tortillas. So, we put them here. We put a spoonful of chili. You don't have to overpack them. And we're going to put some cheese. And I have here a blend of Italian-style cheese. And a blend of Fiesta blend, okay? And I don't know, it's just something about cilantro when it comes to a Mexican dish that I love. That flavor is so cool and so refreshing. And you just roll it and put it right there, just like that. And let me get all the big ones in line together. Because, oh, it don't make a difference because I could just go. Yeah. And you just continue to roll. So I'm just going to sit here and do this. And make a gang of these. Because, yeah. I like enchiladas. Mm -hmm. So how's you all day going? Huh? I know it's so rainy out. Well, where I am it is. How is it where you are? Huh? These are the little ones because I had the uh, the regular size tortilla and then I have the little tortillas. <laughs> and then the cheese. Put the cilantro near me. A little bit more cheese on this one. Because you're also going to put cheese on the outside of it too. Yeah. It's fun cooking things like this. I actually love to do things like this. When it comes to cooking, it's time consuming, but if you like it and you don't mind, it's not a problem. It's fun. I love it. You might get your hands all messy, but long as they clean when you start out, it's all right. It is all right. Because 
We're going to make these enchiladas. And yeah, this chili is still cold. It's not having heated up the chili or anything. It's still cold. It'll heat when it gets in the oven to cook. in there cilantro i like cilantro so yeah i do mm. these are gonna be so good y'all yes and i hope everybody out there is having a great day also because yeah it is a great day in the neighborhood Yes, it is. And you just roll it. See, I don't want to start making them too big. And I can start overstuffing them, and I don't want to do that. But this is going to be some good enchiladas. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So why don't you come and join me? Yes. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing this and rolling and stuffing and rolling. But in the end, these are going to be delicious. I tell you. Yes. Did you guys get you guys prayer time in today? With God? I hope you did. Remember, that's the Important thing to do. Always give God your time, you know. Talk to him and pray to him. Start your day off with him. I don't know another way I can start my day off unless I'm starting it off with God. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm going to use that. Don't worry. All y'all going to be used. We're running out of room on this, so I'm going to push this back. And I'm going to start rolling them off of here, okay? Yes. So I'm going to continue to roll, to stuff and roll. Yes, I am. And when I get through stuffing all these and rolling all of these up, I'm going to come back and show you what I topped them with and how I proceed with the rest of this dish. So, hmm. I'm going to continue to... to Roll these enchiladas up, and then I'm going to come back when all the pans are full, okay? I just wanted to give you a gist of how I do it. So then the next step, just don't you go far, okay? Don't you go far. Okay, so we are back, and we have finished uh, rolling all of the enchiladas up, and now I'm going to proceed to show you what the next step is after I have all of them rolled up. You see me roll up the chili in there. In the tortilla, soften the tortillas, uh, insert the chili, cilantro, and cheese, okay? So now that they're all rolled up, I'm going to show you what they look like, and then we're going to proceed to do the next step and get them in the oven. Let me show you. So this is what they look like right here, okay? You have a pan full of enchiladas all rolled and filled. One pan there and one pan here, okay? So now I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to use, well, you can see the most of them here. This is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four
So the next step, what I do, let me open up this enchilada sauce here. And, uh, yeah, I want to pour it in this cup right here, some of it, and then show you how I do the next step. Open this can up here. And I'm going to pour it in this one cup right here. And I'm going to sit that to the side, okay? Now, I'm going to take this chili, and I'm going to kind of spread it over the enchiladas like so. Just drizzle it on over there, just like that. Just, yeah. Like the, this pan, I'm going to put the chili over. And then I'm going to put some, oh, you can't see. That's the little chili. And then I'm going to drizzle some enchilada sauce over it. This one, I'm not going to, this one, see I'm doing two pans. This pan here, I put chili and enchilada sauce, okay? And then I'm going to add the cheese. This one, I'm not going to put the chili sauce on it. I'm just going to put the enchilada sauce and the cheese over it. So, just, just drizzle some sauce right over it, just like that. Yep. Then you have one with topped with chili and cheese and sauce, and the other pan just sauce and cheese. There you go. Now. You have two pans, one with the chili and the sauce, and one with just the sauce, okay? Now, we are going to top this with cheese. The same cheese on the inside, I'm going to top this all with all of this good old cheese. And I'm going to need more cheese. Drizzle it all with cheese on top. It's an enchilada. Don't be scared to use the cheese. Yes. Just like that. And then over the other ones too. Just the cheese. Don't be scared of the cheese now. And it is enchilada. Okay. So we want to get the cheese off. Oh boy, and this cheese melt, baby. And I want to get some olives here. I want to get some more cheese. Oh yeah. I'm going to go for some mozzarella. Pop some more up with it. Yeah. It's a special day today. Y'all know what special day it is today, should I tell y'all? I'm going to drizzle this mozzarella over here. I'll tell y'all. It's my birthday. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I made it to another year. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God. Believe that. Okay, now, I think that's enough cheese. I mean, you can put as much or as less as cheese as you. It's all in what you like. Okay, I think that'll be great. Now, I'm going to take these olives that I have right here. We're going to turn this water off of them because I don't want the water. I just want the olives. I don't want the juice. I just want the olives. And then we just go drizzle these over here like this. Drop them on over there, as many as you like, or as less as you like, depending on what you like. We like olives, so yeah, I'm not going to sleep on them, because we like olives, okay? And then there you have it. Boom. Chili enchiladas all day long. Mm. 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 It's 
so good. Okay. And there you have it. Chili enchiladas. Chili enchiladas. Okay. So you already know what the next step is. In the oven it go. My oven has been preheating for a minute to 350. So now I'm going to put them in the oven and then you'll see the outcome. Oh, it's one thing I want to do too. Doo -doo. Just a little bit of parsley just to make it all. Look good. Parsley is such a beautiful, I love this parsley. It makes everything look beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful than it already is. Okay? So there you are. So now, we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to let it bake for about 10, 15 minutes just to get everything all warm and gooey and baked all into the enchiladas. And then we'll be back when they're done. So don't go far. Okay, you two, we are back and they are done and it smells so good in here and these look so delicious. I really can't wait to just try these. So I'm going to show you how they came out and what they look like. Come on, look. Oh, look at that. They came out so good. Let me get my, ooh -wee. They really did. Look. I just gotta show y'all. I just gotta pick it up to show y'all. And it's still hot too. Look. Oh, look at that. They, it smells so good in here. And these are the chili enchiladas. Mmm. So delicious. Oh, it smells so good. See? And there is the other pan. Mmm, so delicious, yes. So, now, I'm not going to taste these yet because there's some other things I have to put together right now, and I don't want to mess up this presentation right now. So, but huh, until the next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please try this recipe at home with your family if you like angeladas or, you know, if you want to make it out of leftover chicken or chicken that you buy, chicken that you cook, or either ground turkey, ground beef, whatever, ground salt, whatever you feel like you want to make, you know, your enchiladas, which you can, okay? And I just used chili because it was something that I made the other day, so I put it to use and made a whole nother meal, okay? So, yes. Please try it if you like it. Okay, and until the next video, God bless you all.